from Mr. Paris to Mr. Bond, that seems to be the trajectory Lucien Laviscount might be on. If you believe the reports that he's in the running as the next 007. The British actor, famous for his recurring role on Netflix's Emily in Paris, is said to have captured the attention of movie producer Barbara Broccoli, who also holds the rights to the James Bond franchise, and who's in search of a new agent to replace Daniel Craig. According to the Daily Mail, his work in Ipe, where he plays the main character's love interest, Alfie, is what landed him as a front-runner for the job. He's been on for two seasons. DM cites one purported insider as saying, Lucian ticks all of the boxes. He is a super talented actor, is extremely handsome and in the past 18 months has won lots of new fans since he joined Emily in Paris. Bond bosses are already saying how you can see him in the 007 tuxedo. How dapper and fitting to the role he will look. The thing that might hurt him, apparently, his time on Celebrity Big Brother, on which he competed in 2011. According to this source, the Bond producers think it's low brow stuff not fitting of a Bond actor, even though they're supposedly still pretty high on him in general. The other interesting tidbit coming out of this report. Broccoli is said to have greenlit stunt work testing over at Pinewood Studios, where they've shot a lot of Bond content. If true, that would mean they're amping up to start the next chapter post Craig slash No Time to Die. There'd been rumblings that Idris Elba was being considered to play the next Bond, but frankly, He's too old, and Lucien fits the bill for what Broccoli and Go have recently said they want in their next iteration of the character. A young whippersnapper, that is. We'll say this. Lucien's definitely got the look down. Handsome, fit and natural elegance. All the right stuff that makes Bond an international heartthrob. Here's hoping the Bond honchos figure it out sooner than later. The gap between Pierce Brosnan and Craig, four years, was longer than any period from previous actors, meaning, when one guy left, the other slid in rather seamlessly in the matter of a year or two. No Time to Die came out over a year ago, and we're already on to 2023. Let's move it.